going in. How's it going? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> we're leaving the campsite now. We've got a few things on our to-do list. First up though, we're going to go to a lookout. This is uh, the Mystery Bay Lookout and Mystery Bay Campground is where we stayed last night. So it was 10 seconds away and we had access to the beach from the campground as well. So it's quite nice to have a little stroll last night. But the tide is so much higher now and actually what we did yesterday we would not be able to do today. We can't get all the way through to the beaches. Driving to the next town along, which is Tilba Tilba, and we're trying to get some signal because our phones are on SOS at the moment. It's not great. We need to know where we're going. At the moment, we don't. <laughs> Tilba Tilba was first established in 1873. Look at the knowledge! <laughs> well done, Jordan. Uh -huh. Just saw it on a sign. <laughs> Tilba Tilba is a cute little town, however, uh, no signal. <laughs> We're going to have to go a bit further to get some signal. The fact that we've got no signal is our fault. It's not an Australian thing. It's just because we're with a crappy network. So, if you were with a better one, you would probably have signal. We've come to check out Camel Rock. We're now driving to Bermagwai Blue Pool and we're going to have a quick dip to wake yourself up. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Apparently, so I, did, I just read up quickly about it. You can see some dolphins sometimes. You can see seals. And also, there's some octopuses that live in there. <laughs> so we might get to see all of those, which will be good. The pools was a little bit rough after speaking to a few of the people that go there a little bit. I think it was quite windy. There were some pretty big waves in there. It was quite fun. Didn't see anything crazy though. No seals, no dolphins. Now we're heading into Tathra and we're gonna go to Chamberlain Lookout. Look at the views here. We're 
We're heading to our campsite now, which is Gillard's Camping Grounds. And there is a beach there, so we might chill on the beach for the evening. It's in uh, the Mimosa Rocks National Park. So hopefully it's not too tricky to get into it. <laughs> might have to do some more off-roading. <laughs> Just looking for a water tap now. We see some kangaroos. There's actually loads here. Unlike what everybody thinks of Australia, they're not actually everywhere. No, we've not really seen them, only in the parks, really. Have we? Yeah. Also, we bought these today. It helps because we keep going into the ocean like really early in the morning and to wake us up is cold. And now we've got these. It's better so you can change underneath them yeah. into your bikini or out of your bikini. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. I know you're probably all wondering what do we do when we get to camp. We bought some books in... Big Bubby? I've got a mindful activities book and at the moment I'm just colouring in. So really helps me unwind after a stressful day. And I've got a puzzle book I find really hard. It is really difficult actually. <laughs> Not all smiles and fun times. Not all fun and games out here. You get a lot of scary creatures as well, <laughs> as, well as cute ones. glamorous toilets like. <laughs> We've got a really bright light in order to see all of the speeds and the snakes at night. You look so light. It's just a drop toilet like you would find at a festival or anything like that. Basically a big hole, hole in the ground. I don't really want to look down there, but <laughs> like it's fat for <laughs> Today we've got a very beachy day, but we are heading to the state of Victoria tonight and we'll be camping sort of near the border at Genoa Falls. There's a monitor lizard just outside. We were literally preparing to leave and he's just walked in front of our car. Today is going to be an amazing day. We're going to cross state lines and we're going to be in Victoria by the end of the day. Our first stop today is Hobart Beach 
and I cannot wait because I feel absolutely disgusting this morning. And it's baking hot, so I can't wait to get in the cold sea. It is ridiculous. It's been a while since our tent actually was too hot to stay in in the morning. It's boiling hot in here. It's absolutely baking. You can see the sun coming through. So as soon as we woke up, we were out of there. excited to see this beach I know I am I'm baking out I need to get cold and I need a shower and we can wear our new towel things to get changed yeah oh my god it's a little bit of a trek I don't think this is Hobart's beach but we are getting more and more sandier, so we must be close. One of the best things about this life is every morning we basically come to a beach really cold and we just love it. Jordan's a little less sure, but there could be anything in that water. That makes me very nervous. Could be anything, but it's time to get in. Awesome. We've just parked up at Marimbula Main Beach and we're gonna check it out. Marimbula, we've driven through a little bit of it. It looks really nice actually, so I'm quite excited to see it. had the best day so far on Marimbula Beach. The Marimbula Main Beach is what it's called. Uh, and yeah, just really busy, loads of people, nice waves, a bit calmer. And we are both starving, so. We're gonna treat ourselves to lunch. We probably shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> we probably shouldn't, but. but We've not eaten out in ages. We've stopped off in Eden. 
Um, we're just going to have a wander around the town and hopefully find some lunch. This meal looks massive. <laughs> I went for calamari and chips. Jason went for a chicken burger and a side of chips. And it was 27 37 It was actually 37 47 We're now heading to the Killer Whale Trail lookout, that's a mouthful to say, which is going to be the last thing we do in New South Wales. Until we decide to come back through New South Wales in a few months time. Apparently where we are is one of the best places to spot killer whales in Australia but it's not the right season. The season is around May to November so we might have to come back here around that time on our way back to Sydney. And we made it! Way! Hello Victoria! Woo! Goodbye New South Wales! We are 511 kilometres away from Melbourne. We're here! We're getting closer! Slowly but surely! I've seen three signs in the first minute telling me not to take drugs, not to drink and drive, and not to micro sleep while I drive. <gasps> I made some new friends. I went over to see, I guess they're wild roosters, <laughs> started following me around. I've seen wild roosters before. So we can see lightning in the distance. I don't think I'm sleeping in that tent tonight because it's gonna come this way. It is coming this way. It is popping off over there, properly <laughs> popping off. <laughs> Me and Jason have just put the tent away. We're in the car. I absolutely hate sleeping in the car. And I oh. hate being outside when it's lightning. I started freaking out, I ran to the toilet, ran back, and it's, you could just see it get closer and closer, louder and louder. Now it's raining and it's windy, and it's <laughs> starting to come over us. Yeah, you can just hear the thunder. So it's getting closer. <laughs> it's probably a wise decision not to sleep in the tent tonight, but it does mean I probably won't get much sleep tonight. But it's better than being fried. Yeah, it is better than being fried. <laughs> Luckily we put the tent away and everything literally 20 minutes ago, just before it started to uh, pop off. Jordan was on the roof whilst watching the <laughs> lightning come. To put the tent away, I was like, just quit because I don't want to be up there anymore. 